welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title says, I wanted to talk about Facebook scammers. Now, um, and this is in response to one particular named Emily Poulton Evette. Um, this person had posted in the Lexington yard sale that they were getting rid of their Husky, they were trying to find it a good home because it was a gift from their daughter who had passed away. And I'm going to put the whole conversation that we had <clears throat> at the end of the video, or actually, instead, I'm going to put it here. Okay, so I talked to my husband. I wasn't going to say anything to him, and then he said, it's a scam. I said, what do you mean it's a scam? And he said this happened to him where someone had a free boxer puppy but needed to pay a delivery fee. Now, this person hadn't mentioned del a delivery fee, but the fact that they'd said that they could make arrangements to get me the puppy and the fact that after I um, had mentioned that um, I would drive to El Paso, Texas, it's only a 21 hour drive, that I would drive out there, they blocked me. I mean, really. Um, also, the pictures of the puppy that I'm going to show, it looks like those pictures were not taken in a home. They look like they were, oh, something in my eye. They look like they were actually taken in a, uh, in a vet's office. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I guess there's people that are always out to make a quick buck in this world, but that just blows me away. And then I went back and I read through the language and that was what was, that was interesting to me. Um, that the, and also, something else that was interesting, when I looked at this person's profile pictures, the house, inside of the house, looks very European. Um, growing up in Germany and seeing tables and some of the furniture and some of the, um, like, even the plates and flatware and tight tablecloths just made me wonder. Either they had a European influence or this was someone someone's pictures that were stolen. And then this person said they had an only daughter, but there were more, there was more than one child with this person in their photographs. So I reported it to Facebook and they're like, oh, we couldn't find anything wrong. Yeah, because you didn't read everything I said to you. I mean, you should be able to submit stuff to Facebook to say, mm, this person's, uh, there's something not right. There's something not right about this right here. Uh, why do people feel like they have to do that? I mean, to me, it seems like it was someone that's not in the U.S. And also it seemed like they posted in the Lexington um, yard sale area. And I was like, well, this was, uh, maybe I was, mis I even said, maybe I'm mistaken. This was posted in the Lexington um yard sale, etc. And like, oh, I just moved. Then maybe you should have posted it in the El Paso, Texas one and not in the Lexington one, don't you think? No. <sighs> I don't get it. I mean, there's always someone out there to scam and make a, make a quick buck and, you know, 
I just, I just don't understand. I guess I do understand. There's all sorts of, it takes all sorts of people. All sorts of people. They do it on YouTube. They do it on Facebook. I mean, no, it's not safe anywhere, really. So, I'm glad I said something to my husband. I mean, I would not have sent anyone money anyway, especially being that close to where I live. I would gladly drive out to get a puppy, and it was a husky, and they said it was purebred, blah, blah, blah. I'm a little disappointed because I would have loved to have got my husband a dog. He's been wanting a dog. Now, we really want a Newfoundland, Newfoundland. I really wanted an Irish wolfhound. I wanted a dog bigger than me. And I think, I don't know, but in Newfoundland, they are gorgeous dogs. And they're big and they're fluffy. <sighs> oh, sleepy. And they're water dogs. And I don't know. But I love my puppy. Can you see my puppy? Funky. Funky. Funky, come here. There's my puppy. There's that punky. Ooh, I look really fat. Look at my nose. It's so huge. Mm. Maybe get some rhinoplasty. Get some rhinoplasty. I don't know. Anyway, punky. I mean, I love animals. We have three cats and two dogs. We have a lot of animals, but we take care of them. I mean, the house is big enough. You can't smell a cat when you walk in the house. I hate people. I used to really hate people. I mean, I used to really, really hate people a long time ago where I tell everybody to F off. I had a little bit more of an attitude than I do now. And that just really affirms my utter disdain for humanity. What if it was someone that was like trying to buy a dog as a birthday present for someone? Dude, I would... That's what pisses me off. What if it was my kid or my child, my daughter, someone else a little bit more... A little more naive you know and this just goes to reaffirm hey guess what if it seems like it's a good too good to be true it is if it's too good to be true it is okay well so I used my urban decay urban decay it's not urban decay don't know why I said it I just used the Ulta Rose Gold palette today, and this is Jeffree Star in Gemini. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I contoured my nose a little bit different today, but this is my Rose Gold Eye. I don't really have a tutorial for this look because I'm not a makeup artist. I just like makeup. I do. So this video's turned into something a little bit more than that. I haven't done a video in a while. <sighs> People are so irritating. I just don't understand. Why do people do that? I just, it makes me angry beyond belief. Like, it really ticks me off to no end that people do stuff like that. And I guess we fall for it every time. So why wouldn't they do it? If we fall for their crap, why wouldn't they put stuff out there like that? You know what I mean? If we worked just a little harder to not to check our to fact check well I'm like I said I'm glad I told my husband I really am but the fact that he had you know this is like years ago that he encountered something like this I don't know 
So I'm going to make a light box, I think, because my light um, by my computer is overpowered. It's OP. And uh, the lighting in here, I don't mind. I mean, it's okay to record videos. I just, you know, they, they use the like diffusing beauty lights or the ring lights or whatever. One day I'll get one. They're not that expensive. I looked on Amazon. If I talk to my hubby about it, he'll be fine with it. And he's like so super supportive of like me making videos and doing what I want to do. I mean, I'm helping support the family. I still work. I teach, like I said before, little Chinese kids. They're totally adorable. Um, and <sighs> just makes me so mad. Mad. Seriously. Why do people do this? If we didn't fall for it, though, they wouldn't do it. And then she blocked me. And it wasn't even she. It was probably he, some probably sweaty, hairy man with six chins sitting in a chair somewhere smoking a fat cigar laughing behind his computer with his greasy sausage fingers. Hey, 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 hey. Here's another one. <laughs> they believe what I said. <laughs> To all you scamming hoes out there. No, I'm kidding. No, but really. Take a flying leap. They need to be like shifted to somewhere else. Like, psh, like, go away. Like, I don't want you around this anywhere near my family. <laughs> this is, yeah, I'm playing with the phone charger. <laughs> This is why I was like praying for the end of the world. And then when it didn't happen, I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. Because I'm like, these evil people are still going to be here. They're still going to be here. They're still going to be alive. They're still going to be running around. I'm like over it. Like so over it right now. gives me like this icky, nasty, gross feeling. Or maybe it's my hair. Just kidding. I just, I just don't, I just. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. But what's there to understand, really? I wanted a puppy for my husband and that I would have taken care of. So is married life. By the way, you want to send me makeup products? I'll take them off your hands. I'll test them out on this face. Look at the blind though. I mean, look at, so I'm in my like normal bedroom light. Look, I <sighs> love highlighters. I'm sorry. <sighs> I gotta figure out how to like, like, okay. I know I'm silly, I know. <laughs> like I'm trying to make my nose thinner but I don't think that'll work. Like, that, that looks weird. Like, my face would look totally weird if it was like this. No, seriously, I just, whatever. Oh, guess what I got? Guess what I got over here? It's a, oh no. Look what I got right now. I got my puppy. Oh, my baby kitty. This is my baby kitty. His name is Tubby. When he was born, he was the biggest roly poly kitty. I love him so much. He's my Toby. Oh, he's like trying to hide. I love my cats. I love all my animals. Ugh. He's like, forget you, woman. See, look, he's like, you know, I don't want to. I don't want, but you know, want to know how he will, like, if I, I can carry him around the house like this. 
he'll literally like stay like this forever which I think is awesome I don't know why but this is this is what he does isn't it funny so he's just holding on to me I love my cat He's tired. He's probably mad that I lifted him up, up, up off the bed. Are you mad, buddy? Are you mad? I don't even know. Like, I should bring the camera around and see. But I'm afraid if I do that, he'll get mad at me. He's just laying here. Like, I'm, I'm just like, I don't, don't even have a hold of him. He's just draped over my shoulder. But he knows I love him. I love all my animals. And... So, like I said, I have two dogs and three cats. Now, Punky, there he goes. He's like, I'm done hugging you. Punky and Tubby are mine. <gasps> what do you do, Tubby? He's like, how dare you film me? I will step on your tripod, woman. Human. Anyway, I think I'm done with this video. I didn't really talk about much other than scammers and idiots. I'm lazy. Well, okay, I'm not lazy. I just like, I want to do these things and then I'm like, it takes so much energy because I get so tired of thinking about doing it. <laughs> My brain's like, your fibro is gonna kick in just because you've thought about doing all this stuff. But Saturday I was like uber exhausted. Today is Sunday and I hope to have this up by Tuesday. So hopefully you'll see this Tuesday. If I'm really overzealous, I'll get it up tomorrow. But tomorrow is the beginning of my spring cleaning and uh, cleaning out the freezers. Cleaning out the freezers. Yeah. Should be fun and exciting. Uh, and beyond that, you guys take care of each other. Have a fantabulous day. And uh, don't let people if, if it's too good to be true question it that's the thing talk to somebody else because maybe they have experienced it and you may not be aware I'm glad I talked to my husband and well I mean that's what husbands and wives do anyway even if I wanted it to be a surprise I'm glad I talked to him so all right guys take care of yourself and have a fantabulous day